Campbell and Side, which is the last squirrel hide I came to in Aviemore before lockdown last year. And there's about two or three squirrels running around at the moment. I um, just had two brown hares run past chasing each other, so um, I couldn't get a picture, but I'm hoping they'll come back through the other way. Um, but it's just beautiful to be back in the Caledonian pine forest. It's so peaceful, apart from me. What a runaway. It's just nice to watch the squirrels again. <laughs> Mark Hamlin's hide. It's, it's as cold now as it would be in January and it's just started hailstones. It's absolutely freezing. Well the hailstones have stopped. The sun's out I'm just sticking sticking my hand out just to try and <laughs> defrost myself. And the squirrels are back. <laughs> sunny sometimes so I've been standing outside trying to reheat myself. Uh, the squirrels don't like loud noises, there's controls on this gimbal to use hand sensors um, but it makes a really loud noise and the squirrels do not like it. <laughs> Maybe stay another hour or so and head off somewhere else. Um, I'm back here tomorrow but it's just fun to watch them. They're not that phased by people, just loud noises. <laughs> for day two um, at Mark Hamblin's place just outside Carbridge in Aviemore and whilst there's a bit of a lull in proceedings I thought I would show you uh, around the site. So the hide um, as I said is just outside Carbridge um, in the Highlands and it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful big pine trees Just the perfect place to spend some time. But there's lots of little perches that staff about. Really good for just getting some natural shots and in the summer this would all be pink with heather. That's the hide there. Gorgeous woodland. Loads of hares running around. I can actually see a squirrel coming in from stage left. <laughs> I knew that as soon as I started doing this the squirrels will come back because it's been quiet for a little bit so I've been around looking for hares however I'm not overly stealthy so I haven't seen them or more I've scared them uh, but you've got the jumping perch here it's a bit of a nemesis of mine until today I think I've managed to get something this really cool piece of dead wood um, that I've got some nice shots today of uh, the squirrels 
because the backing of it you can see is just these old pine trees so there we have it I can't lie it's probably one of my favorite places to spend time with squirrels just because the scenery and where you're surrounded is beautiful there's no phone signal as I said there's hares everywhere there's deer lots of little birds coming in as well and it's just so peaceful I love it <laughs> heading back to the car. It's about quarter to three. I think I've been in the hide since half eight this morning. It's amazing how time flies when you're having fun. Spent the last little while just working on the jumping shots. Squirrels eventually disappeared. But going back to the car now, it's, I'm so cold. <laughs> Who would have thought this is May? It's supposed to be one of the nicest months of the year. Anyway, I've got new McIntyre's hide tomorrow. It was looking a lot bit dicey because the weather is quite rainy, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs>